sixth grade, module one, lesson eight, problem set. The ratio of the number of shaded sections to the number of unshaded sections is four to two. What is the value of the ratio of the number of shaded pieces to the number of unshaded pieces? So now we're finding the value. We can see from the picture and that they told us that the ratio is four to two. Or if I write that as a fraction, four to two, now I'm going to find the value by reducing it. So I can divide both 4 and 2 by 2. I'll end up with 2 over 1. So we can say that the value is 2 over 1, or you could 2 over 1 is just equal to 2. So the value is 2. Number 2, use the value of the ratio to determine which ratios are equivalent to 7 to 15. First, we have 21 to 45. So we're just going to be basically turning these into fractions and then simple, putting them into simplest form. So 21 and 45, I can divide both of those by 3. 21 divided by 3 is 7 and 45 divided by 3 is 15. So that is 7 to 15, the first one works. The next one, B, is 14 to 45. Now I already know that the one above it worked, and they have the same second number in the ratio of 45 with a different first number. So if 21 to 45 worked, 14 to 45 is not going to work. Okay, three to five. So this, if we need to see if there's any way it could equal seven to 15. So if I multiply five times three, I get 15, but if I do three times three, I would get nine not seven. So this one does not work either. And 63 to 135. So this we need to reduce also. I'm going to see, uh, let's see if we can divide by 63, we can divide by seven and nine. So let's, let's see, 135. We can divide that by 9, I believe. So let's try dividing by 9. 63 divided by 9 is 7. 135 divided by 9. 9 can't go into 1, but it goes into 13 one time. We end up with 45, and 9 goes into 45 five times. So this is equal to 7 to 15. 7 to 15. So that one works. Number three, Sean was at batting practice. He swung 25 times but only hit the ball 15 times. A, describe and write more than one ratio related to this to this situation. We need more space, so. Okay, so A, we need to write more than one ratio related to this situation. So let's write two or three. Let's say the ratio of the number of times, I'll just start with the order that it's in, the number of times he swung to the number of times he hit the ball. So number of times he swings to hits, swings to hits is 25 to 15. Another one. We can just reverse that. So we could say ratio of the number of hits to the number of swings That would be 15 to 25. Let's make one more. 
So if he hits the ball 15 times out of 25 times, that means that the other 10 times he swung and missed. So let's say the ratio of the number of hits to the number of misses. is, so the number of hits would be 15 and the number of misses would be 10. Now part B wants us to, for each ratio you created, use the value of the ratio to express one quantity as a fraction of the other quantity. So we're going to take the first one and it is 25 to 15. I'm going to write it as a fraction and we're just going to find the value of that by putting it in the simplest form. So we can divide both 25 and 15 by 5, which would make this 5 thirds. So the value of that ratio is 5 thirds. We can do the next one. So it was just reverse 15 over 25. So let's divide by 5 again, and we'll get 3 fifths. So the value of that one is 3 fifths. And the net last one, find that value, was 15 to 10. So if we divide those by 5, we get 3 to 2. So the value of that ratio is 3 to 2 for the total number, for the number of hits to the number of misses. And C says, make up a word problem that a student can solve using one of the ratios and its values. Let's create some space here and make a word problem. So that the student can make up a word problem the student can solve using one of the ratios and its values. So let's say that Sean has... It has batting practice the next week and takes 40 swings. Let's ask how many hits would he get if the ratio stays the same. So you can come up with a different word problem. Maybe he takes 30 swings. Maybe he only takes 10 swings. Um, but there's one word problem that you could use. Okay, back to this. Number four, your middle school has 900 students. One third of the students bring their lunch instead of buying lunch at school. What is the value of the ratio of the number of students who do, not, who do bring their lunch to the number of students who do not? So we have, let's make a tape diagram here. So the school has 900 students and one third bring their lunch. So it's broken into thirds. The total here is 900. So this portion brings their lunch. And the other part buys their lunch. So if we want to break this apart, we could see, take the 900 and split it into three equal parts, we're going to get 300. So each piece is equal to 300. So there are 300 bring lunch, and then 300 and 300 would be 600 buy lunch. 
and it wants to know what's the value of the ratio of the number of students who do bring lunch to the number of students who do not. So that, the number 300 to 600, if we want to find the value of that, 300 over 600, we can reduce that by dividing by 300, because they can both be divided into 300, and we'll get 1 to 2. So the value is 1 over 2, 1 half.